Welcome back to an exciting episode of Go Bold, brought to you by Revlon. Today, we're cooking up some fun with Nadia G of Bitchin' Kitchen. She's going to challenge our contestants to present their ideas boldly in a fresh new way that will get your creative juices flowing. Ladies, Hi. you all look so lovely today. Thank you. So do you. Now, no one knows better than Revlon that in today's crowded marketplace, it's not enough to have just a great product. You have to present it in a fresh, new way if you want to get noticed. Our mentor provocateur today is a mastermind at adding a new twist. She's been dubbed the Julia Child of the net generation. I'm Nadia G. I'm a cook, I'm a comedian, and a very anxious individual. I've always been a hungry person. Not just because I'm hungry for food, but hungry for life. These days, it's imperative to have a unique voice. People try to be everything to everyone. Well, guess what? It's all about niche markets out there. So you have to know who you are and be quite loud about it. No matter what you do, if you put all your love into it and all your time, you'll get what you want. Now, Nadia, you're not only a cook, but also the queen of social media. Can you tell us how you harness that to create such a successful brand? Well, let's face it, most cooking shows are really freaking boring. So I had to figure something out to get heard. I grew up in a food-obsessed Italian family, so food is how we expressed ourselves. If you're happy, lasagna. If you're sad, <laughs> lasagna. If you want to talk, you shut up and think about your lasagna. I needed some comedic relief, needless to say, mm -hmm. and I was doing sketch comedy for quite a few years in my early 20s. One day I was like, why not meld these two passions, food and comedy, and I came up with Bitch and Kitchen. I love it, Nadia. What do you have for us today? All right, today I want to test your presentation skills. We're giving you a selection of cosmetics in their raw form, and what I want you to do is turn them into a color palette that tells a food story. I want you to present them in a way that a chef would present a dish. Make me want to buy what you're selling. Now ladies, you may use real food as props. Remember to infuse your personality and give it your own unique spin. You have 20 minutes, and remember to go bold. So my game plan coming into the kitchen, I thought I'd do something very sexy, succulent, bold. It's a little weird when you hear makeup, fruits, and how we were gonna put it all together. Oh, and she's kissing the plate. I think this sort of challenge is very different than the others because you have to use your brain, you have to think creatively, you have to kind of sit down and come up with a concept and present yourself, which I love doing. Oh, interesting. Christina's doing a nail polish story, it seems. I really wasn't talkative with the other girls today. I wanted to make sure that I had my head in the game and show that I'm not just like bumbly, blonde, da 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 like whatever. I have like much more. Now I get nervous when I see the girls with the knives because it's a competition. <laughs> and they're competitive already. Five, four, Three, two, one. Time's up, ladies. Right. Yes! Ding, 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 ding. I almost thought about going the spice route because I'm kind of spicy and a little different, but I thought no one wants to put like pepper on their lips. I picked the safer route because I thought it would be more applicable and more appealing to a wider audience than something a little more off the cuff. I had a vision of what I wanted to do. I already had the name in my head. My name was strong. I thought that the palette was strong. So that was make, making me confident. I'm really proud of what I did and I would be bold enough to go into Revlon and say, this is something that you guys can completely package to your consumers. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. Hello. It's time to see what you've created. Let's start with Christina. So my collection I'm calling the Berry Bold Collection. It is for the woman that can go into the room and adapt to any situation but still stand out. And with her touch, she can take the ordinary and make it extraordinary. So berries, they're delicious, they're rich, they're versatile, and they're really familiar to everybody. But when you take a spin, you cut them open, you see all the layers, it's something totally new. Oh, so like berry guts. 
Yeah, that's Very a good. good. I yeah. mean, yeah, this whole tail to tip dining trend. I got it. Yeah, yeah. That's an interesting concept. I am mesmerized with the Berry Bold collection. All right. It was really exciting. I love doing grinding challenges. I think the way I described the woman who would take this palette in, I think it was clear and concise. I was very proud of what I did today. Hi. This is my plate. I'm calling it Succulent Boldness. Succulent reminds me of the strawberries. Juicy, bold colors. That's why I use the word boldness as well. These are bold colors. Some women are very scared to use, you know, bright, bold, beautiful colors. There's a little bit of red on the lip, which I dab my lip on the plate. And then I made a nice, nice little heart with the makeup and I put the XOXO with nail polish. You had me at succulent. <laughs> succulent is one of my favorite words. I could say it all the oh, succulent. succulent. It's mm -hmm. fantastic. You did a great job on this strawberry right here. This one, and not so much, a little mushy. Thank you so much. Thank Jack. you. Thank you. It is very hard to make strawberries into roses. This is the first time I'd ever tried it. I'd seen it once before, so I thought I'd like from my head try it. But yeah, you know, now I know. <laughs> Hello, my palette is for a girl who wants to go have fun by the beach. So I chose colors that I felt like somebody would want on a palette that they could just take with them, only that palette and maybe some mascara. Mm. So my palette is called One Night in Havana. I have lips, cheek, eyes, and bronzer. I have the Tango Temptress. I have the Berry Bellini. So I kind of was thinking like, when you're out there, what are you doing? What are you drinking? What are you eating? What I love about this is that you've incorporated all the different makeup that a woman would need. So if you're leaving on vacation, you just grab this palette and you've got everything you could possibly want there. You've even got limes to prevent scurvy. <laughs> These are just names that you came up with? I just wanted to think of like little cute names for makeup because I don't know, you like to look at things, you think it's fun, you buy it sometimes because of the name. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I just wanted to make sure that I represented my palette with my words and the way that I was in the correct way and was able to spit them out. Going from visions in my head to on paper or a plate or anything that is outside of my head is probably the most difficult thing that I struggle with always. So you've seen their presentations, Nadia. What do you think? They all have something so incredible. I love the gutting of the berry because that's part of being a woman too. It's like there's the pretty side, but there's also a very visceral side, a very raw side, and that is super well represented in this palette. This one is very sexy. I, I love the, the heart, the XOX, but I, I've got to say this concept is a winner for me. It thought about the full palette thought about what a woman on the go needs. It's got the blush, it's got the bronzer, it's got the eyeshadow. And I like that it wasn't too berry-centric. Berries in makeup are a little bit obvious for a reason, but this to me was representative of, uh, of another level of connecting food to makeup and also super convenient. Thank you so much, Nadia. And it seems as if Bridget is the winner for the very first time. Make some noise for Bridget. I just won. I was terrified to present because presenting is just really kind of not my thing, but I did it and it's good and I won. This is not going to be the last time you hear Bridget Blonde winning a challenge. It is just the first of the rest. Oh yeah, I am so happy. Congratulations, Bridget. And for your prize, we have a juicer. Oh. Oh. It's Whoa. so amazing because every girl needs to be healthy. Here, take that. I don't know if I can hold, I'm like shaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> now Nadia, what message do you hope we all walk away with today? I think whatever you're selling, you need to think about how to make it unique. Creativity, bringing your personality into it, not being afraid to do that is the lesson to be learned. Now I want to hear what you think. Whose presentation made you want to go out and buy her product? Until next time, go bold.